Hi there, it's Todd from Learn to Grow Wealth Online, coming to you from beautiful Medellin, Colombia. And today we're going to be talking about how to put in banner ads and text links into your WordPress website. Uh, here I am on Rakuten Linkshare. This is a major affiliate network, just like Amazon Associates or the eBay network program. And they have tons of uh, various services or products that you can uh, you can uh, affiliate yourself with depending on what your affiliate website is, is based on, depending on what your niche is based on, really. Um, my niche is learning to grow wealth online and making money online, building affiliate websites, building sites, things of that nature. So not all of these are going to apply uh, apply to my site. But what I hit, what I did, what I've already gone ahead and done is, is uh, go ahead and have applied for some of the programs, and I got accepted for several, and, and of course declined for others. But I just wanted to show you here of how many programs they have, um, and in the various categories that they have. So you can just find pretty much anything to fit your affiliate uh, niche website. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to to my programs um, or to my advertisers. And then what I'm going to show you is um, this is kind of a dummy site that I'm working on right here, uh, datecolumbianwomen.com. And I, as you can see, I've already filled it with various banners. And um, there's a couple links as we go down throughout the site. Now, one thing I'd like to mention to people as they start to do affiliate uh, marketing or putting up affiliate websites is that the most text links that you want that are that are going to be driving people to affiliate uh, or to merchants is two no more than two um, uh, affiliate text links in your article page or post um, otherwise that comes off as looking as looking as a spam to to search engines um, if you look here I have two text links right here and both of these go to affiliate, uh, or not to affiliate, but to authoritative title websites. This is um, SpanishDict.com, like a Spanish dictionary, and that's an awesome site to learn Spanish and it translate between translates between Spanish and English. This is also another program to learn uh, Spanish. Uh, if I go a little bit further down, Couchsurfing.org is also another authoritative type of traveling website. But Colombian Cupid, this is an affiliate link, so. If I put, if I press that, you'll see that it opens up, and um, it will take me to the uh, the Colombian Cupid uh, homepage. So you want the you want your your links to open up into a new tab like this one just did, and uh, you don't want it to open up in the same tab. Why is that? Because if you um, are trying to get good search engine optimization if you're trying to get good rankings and people are hitting the back button that looks bad in, in the eyes of the uh, of the search engines um, instead you want it to pull up into a new window and that way the person can come over here and, and look at the program or look at the site and then if they don't want you know want to stay on that site they can close it out and go back to your article um, just a little little tip there, um, but how I added all these links is obviously in the in the dashboard of my WordPress uh, website, and so we'll go over here, and that's that's here. So how to link something? Linking things are quite easy. You just highlight the uh, the uh, word that you want to link, like Colombian women, and then you come over here and you hit this little link chain button, and that will pull it up, and that's where you can specify to open this in a new tab and then paste your URL in there. So um, that's quite simple to do. Uh, just the only thing that you really want to keep in mind is no more than two affiliate links on your on your page or post. And um, other than that, uh, let's go over and, and I'll show you how to throw a banner into your side widgets or into the sidebars. So I'm referring to all this these little banners over here on these uh, sidebars. So I already have the my widgets tab pulled up. We're going to be using a text link to, to do this. And so I'm going to go ahead and grab up here a text link and I'm just going to drag it over. And I'm going to put it at the bottom of my content sidebar, which you can see is the sidebar on the right. So we'll go to the very bottom. I know I've got a lot of links here. Be patient, please. <laughs> and there we go. Um, okay, so let's say we'll go back to our affiliate uh, network and let's say we want to do a traveling um, banner. So I'm going to go into bookvip.com 
and find a banner. You'll notice when we go in here, they'll have uh, their program details, policies, and so forth. I just want to hit the links button. The links will take me to the links in the banners, come down a little bit, and here you have it. I can get a text link right here. So in that last situation, if I was saying, uh, if it wasn't based on like Colombian women, or was it, um, sorry, here, if it was based on traveling, I could link that, that the word traveling and it would it would fit and I could then grab a, a link from bookvip.com. But here we want to do banners, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the uh, available banners, and it's, there's 15 to choose from. And um, what I've also done is I've also pulled up a spare page post, and um, the reason why I do this is so that I can center my my uh, my banner as well as I can see how it looks before I add it into my text widget, which again is back here. So let's see if we got this link shares running a little bit slow here tonight. Or maybe it's just being in Colombia. All right, here we go. So we see a bunch of different deals. Two ninety nine to Cabo San Lucas, last minute deals, all inclusive. I'm just going to grab this big link right here, and I just hit get link. Another window will pop open, and I want to just copy this text here. I highlight it. I can either go Control Copy or right click and copy there, and then I can put this down or close it out come back over to my widgets section and I can add that in. Now before I add that in I'm actually going to go over to this new post because what I want to do is I want to put a little code in here. So I make sure I'm not in the visual section of my WordPress editor but in the text section. I paste it there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and you can check it out in the visual you can see it but what I'm going to go ahead and do is center it. So I'm going to put a little code with a left bracket Center, Command, right bracket. I'm just going to copy that. Control copy, Control paste, and then I add a little backslash there. Now we'll take a look at it. And you can see it was moved over a little bit to the center here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, I'm going to highlight this because I want to make sure that it opens up into a new window. I hit the link button. I, op I, I click on open link in new window or tab, I update that, and then I'm going to come back here and this will change the text. So now I'll grab my new text, control copy, and I'm going to bring it, come over back over to my widget, control paste, and I don't want to, I don't need to put a title or anything on there, I don't want a title, and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and save it. And now we'll go over to the website here and if you look down at the bottom right now let's see is it there it is Gonna refresh it and you can see it's right there Cancun 299 VIP so that's how you that's how you uh, add a banner to a side widget you if you're depending on your theme you have a right side and a left side um, sidebars. Content sidebar is on the right and this, and this theme and primary sidebar is on the left. Um, so if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment below. Um, any questions whatsoever about linking I've got a, a, an article on on this page uh, that can explain that as well and uh, leave me a comment and have a great uh, great day.